Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper for October 28th, 2019. It was so great that I had my boot campers helping me out map these out this morning. So if anything doesn't work out, just blame them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> now they just watched and learned this morning as I talk my way through why I pick certain levels. So great education so far. So on the SPY, we are going to be bullish above 302.75. We are above that massive dark pool level, 301.09. And as long as we stay above that, that is going to be uber bullish. We're going to be bearish for retracement trade, 387 going on down. All right, so that's below the prints. And let's go to ES, the E-minis. We're going to be bullish above 30.32 and bearish below 30.19. The Russell, we're going to be bullish above 156. You can see that there's a lot of room ahead here. And we're going to be bearish below 154.50 for the Russell. The QQQs. We're going to be bullish above 196.60 and we're going to be bearish below 194.75 for the QQQs. The NASDAQ futures bullish above 80.80 and bearish below 80.50. So, you know, a lot of these trades, by the way, are um, no resistance above us for the long trade, but the short trade is really a retracement. Uh, from the four EMA down to the eight. You know, you'll see a lot of this on the daily chart. Depending on how much room we have to go down, if we do go there. So they're all pretty similar, the setups. The Russell bullish above 1569, bearish below 1560. The Dow Jones E-mini futures bullish above 2702. Five. I've taken the pre-market volume and given you bull levels and bear levels below 26,950. Oil futures are on fire. Well, they have been above 55, but today we're going to be bullish above 5650, which we just went above. Volume is coming in at this moment, and we're going to be bearish below 5620. If we do break down below that. And then let's go to gold. Gold has been hot. Let's see where we're at this morning. Gold futures bullish above 1512. Actually looks pretty tight this morning. Yep. Okay, we're gonna be bullish above here. There's a lot of room to go if we can break above. And we're gonna be bearish below 1499 if we break below there for a trade down for the gold futures. All right, so Tiffany, there was a buyout possibly announcement, but the deal isn't solid. They just really got, they just, yeah, got a bid. So whenever that happens, it can still keep going and it has. I posted this out earlier for you guys, uh, bullish above 128 and already hit my two targets of 130. So where do we go from here? Let's check it out. Looks like they might be selling at 130.50. Saw a little bit of refreshing. Let's see if I can even get that back. He came back a little bit. 130.40. Yeah, so I would watch the 130.50 from here on. In fact, since this trade already happened, I'm just gonna put this in bullish above 130.50. Yeah, it looks like they might up thrust this 130 level. All right, but watch that. Let's go to the next one. Microsoft's got a big cloud deal this morning. Bullish above 145 and bearish below 144 for Mr. Softy. AT&T had earnings. I love trading this after earnings. Bullish above 138, if it closes strong, it's gonna be bullish. Bearish below 
25. Let's see, AMD always has volume every morning, so we love trading this. We're gonna be bullish. Above 33.60. And bearish below 32.87 for a retracement. Facebook, bullish above 189. Oh, it's not looking too good right now. Bearish below 186.50 for Facebook. We have Apple this morning, bullish above 248, and bearish below 246. Roku, that's for you, Otis, bullish above 138.75. That's a really key level. Um, and you know what? There's a seller. I'm changing that. Bullish above 139. Sorry. Yeah, there's a seller at 139 on the ARCA book. Let's see. Yep, he's still there. Bullish above 139. And bearish below 135. Let me just change this. My sheet. Okay. Twitter. Not an easy one, but it has a lot of volume this morning. Third day after earnings. Yeah. Are the buyers going to come in? You know, the second day institutions love to sell. They sell it down the third day. If it makes a higher high, higher low on above average volume, it could be turning. So bullish above 31 for a retracement trade to resistance here and bearish below 30.25. There's a buyer on the book at 30. He's still there. You can see him right here. Yep, so that's my first target. You have to wait for the second test to go below 30, but definitely worth watching today. Overstock, bullish above 1206, and it's coming up there right now. Bearish below 1150, and Spotify. Wow, Spotify getting a boost this morning. Uh, bullish above 131, and bearish below 130, just went down below that. And have a few uh, targets for a retracement trade down to 127. 77 that's an r3 retracement we went above the third resistance level so a lot of times they do like to take it down and retest that so there you have it those are your whispers of the day for october 28th until next time happy trading Nothing